Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an excellent fan. Captain. Guys. Captain. Big fan. Spider Man. Hey, everyone. hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. And over the course of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it seems like there's always some awesome things that are coming in the form of movies to the MCU. And along the way and over the course of multiple years, we've seen some hilarious and funny moments from various cast members whenever we get a look behind the scenes of the movie releases. And we thought it'd be really interesting if we took a look at some of the more iconic scenes throughout the course of the Marvel Cinematic universe and some scenes that maybe have an outtake or some bloopers that were originally filmed alongside it and compare the scenes with the outtakes to the scenes that actually made it into the final release of the movie. It's really interesting to see how these two things end up comparing and we're going to take a look at a ton of different movies from the MCU because it's really a unique experience seeing the different perspectives that go into making movies and picking which shot and which delivery of lines ends up getting chosen for the final release of the film. Starting things off, we wanted to quickly take a look at Iron Man 3 just because there's a few differences between what happens in the final cut of the movie and how they cut away to characters or just random things like CGI to what we actually saw in the final release of the film. Why do you continually disobey me? Coffee pot fell on the floor. <laughs> Hit me with a plate. Hit me with a plate. Tell me why you would Stark's mansion last night? I'm trying to fix this thing. I didn't know you and the master were gonna blow the place up. Oh, I see. No, normally I'd go for that sort of thing, but I think, oh, talent's ready. <laughs> Sorry, honey, my bad. Freeze, omelet on face, keep <laughs> rolling. You don't remember. <laughs> why am I not surprised? Don't take it personally. I don't remember what I had for breakfast. Gluten-free waffles, sir. That's right. Okay, look, I need to be alone with you someplace, not here, it's urgent. Normally I'd go for that sort of thing, but now I'm in a committed relationship. It's with her. Tony! Is somebody there? Yeah, it's Maya Hansen. Captain America Winter Soldier, which released in 2014, is actually a great example of seeing some behind the scenes stuff where they utilize green screens to make some very realistic looking backgrounds. How do we know the good guys from the bad guys? We're supposed to be running. <laughs> hey Cap, how do we know the good guys from the bad guys? If they're shooting at you, they're bad. to link all three carriers for this to work. I got confused with my eyeline. I think I looked directly into camera. I don't care. You just forgot the line. Now you're trying to make up some other shit. What was, was that no, the last I, line? I, Steve, we got a bogey. Short range ballistic thermobaric payload. Steve, we got a bogey. Short range ballistic. 30 seconds tops. Who fired it? I am afraid I have been stalling, Captain. Admit it, it's better this way. We are both of us out of time. It can be subtle things or just digital screens that they choose to overlay a green screen in. And this is a practice that's become more and more common in the film industry over the past few years. When we look back at the Thor movies starring Chris Hemsworth, it's always really funny just to see the comparison and differences between what we actually saw in the film and then what we've seen in some of the behind the scenes stuff that has been released just because there's so many funny moments, extra lines of dialogue that will be thrown in there or just really interesting things that really didn't get polished up or finalized until special effects were added in later on. So whether it's the earlier Thor films or things later on from Ragnarok and further down the road, 
it's really interesting to take a look back at what was originally filmed with and then what they went and changed up in post-production. But first, we wanted to give a quick reminder, we do have a really awesome Instagram page that updates you guys on everything happening Marvel immediately. So if you guys want to follow us on Instagram, check it out, link in the description. There's also a ton of really awesome memes and other things that are posted on there. So make sure you guys are following that page. A tremendous idea. Let's steal the biggest, most obvious ship in the universe and escape in that. Flying around the city, smashing into everything in sight so everyone can see us. It's brilliant, Thor. It's truly brilliant. <laughs> Hitting it, I'm pressing it, I'm pressing, I'm pressing it. it. Yes, I am. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we look to the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, these movies not only star some really great actors and an awesome cast along the way, there's also some really interesting things that were done with the use of filming within a studio and just a lot of interesting takes and perspectives you can see along with some funny moments when maybe a line gets confused or something along the way that turns out being really unique when the film finally releases. On him. 40k! but I want him back alive. Yeah, alive? That's what I said. I told you when you picked that kid up, you should have delivered him like what he's had to do. He wants cargo, and you go, he's going soft on him. You want us right off the set. Yes, I did. Come on. And I'm going to do it again. Come on, this time I'm going to hit the same place we did last. Rocket Raccoon's actually a really unique character just because they have Bradley Cooper, who does the voice of the character, also come in and record the motion capture for the face with that character. So getting to see him play a role or do some of the lines for that character and then see how it gets translated into the actual film is also a really cool experience. I'm finishing this so we can listen to tunes while we work. I'm finishing this so we can listen to tunes while we work. They were not looking at you funny. You got anger issues. Mature yourself! I'm gonna kick you! I'm gonna kill you! Stop it! Yo, whoa! What are you doing? This vermin speaks of affairs he knows nothing about. That is true! Here's no respect! Also Captain Marvel, which released right after Avengers Infinity War in 2018, was actually a pretty successful movie in the box office, so it's cool to get a look behind the scenes with this film as well. Oh, so you remember something? Oh yes, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Wait, Mr. Postman. Not ringing any bells? Keep singing, maybe it'll come back to me. Avengers Infinity War was also a massive hit when that film released just because it brought so many different cast members together, but it seems like even behind the scenes there were a lot of funny moments and just interesting interactions along the way. I don't trade lies, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to go.
like any man. But nonetheless, despite us looking at all of these different bloopers and comparing them to the actual movie releases, nothing really tops the fact that Spider-Man and all of the movies that feature Spider-Man can be pretty hilarious at times, just because how Tom Holland can act behind the scenes and just the chemistry he has with his own character. So it's always funny to look behind the scenes and see some of the dialogue that happens when they're filming a movie starring Tom Holland and seeing how he kind of plays off of the other actors he's playing with and he has a good time while he's filming it as well. It's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. My face feels so good. I don't know. I was not supposed to say that lie. So. I don't think I can keep this a secret. This is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me, Peter. May cannot know. I cannot do that to her right now. You know? I mean, everything that's happened with her, I... Please. Okay. Just swear, okay? I swear. Thank you. So we now wanted to turn this around to you guys. There's so many different Marvel movies from the course of the cinematic universe. Are there any scenes specifically that you would like to see in the future covered where we look from how it was shot behind the scenes or some of the funny dialogue that may have happened behind the scene to compare it across to what we actually saw in the final release? Let us know if you have any ideas in the comment section down below. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed to Film Artsy with notifications turned on so you don't miss any new videos just like this one. We upload every single day of the week so you're not going to want to miss whatever we upload next into the future. But otherwise, that is it for today. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye.